Hello Youtubers, I'm Parways and this is our uh, fourth video in Python Selenium. So in the previous video we have learned about uh, navigation comment, comments in WebDriver, Selenium WebDriver. So in this video we're going to talk about the verifying of the displayed elements in a web page for example. And uh, so uh, when we are going to automate our web page, sometimes we need to find that uh, some web elements are displayed on the page or not or also the elements are enabled or not now uh, there are uh, three methods that uh, you can use for these kind of functionalities uh, first we have uh, for example we have as displayed now this uh, this as displayed action verifies if an element is displayed on the web page and can be executed on all web elements so it returns a uh, boolean value uh, true or, or false so if an, uh, a web element is displayed it will return uh, true and mm, in, the, in other case it will return false now we have as enabled so this as enabled action verifies if an element is enabled on the web page and uh, can be executed on all web elements you can use these two on all web elements it also returns a boolean value true or false now another one is as selected so as uh, it is as selected okay now uh, the this is so the uh, this is selected action verifies if an element is selected right now on the web page and uh, can be executed on radio button and check boxes it also returns a boolean value so you can use these two for uh, all web elements but the S selected is uh, mostly used for radio buttons and also checkboxes. So now let's just uh, create a simple uh, example. Uh, so first we need to just uh, import uh, from Selenium. We are going to just import WebDriver. And also you can use import time. Or right now we don't need. We are going to just use web driver so after this uh, we need to just uh, open our uh, browser so I'm using Chrome so web driver dot Chrome and after this I need to just uh, open the the URL that I want for example I want to driver dot get uh, HTTPS Google.com so for example uh, we are going to just uh, now uh, so so we are going to just do this in a search box in the Google for example we have search box in here now uh, it's displayed and it's enabled so by this reason we are going to just uh, uh, do the do our example on this and uh, now okay now in here we are going to just go to google.com after this we are going to just create a search box in here and now we need to find the element so you can do by export let me just uh, uh, inspect also you can use the name uh, but this time I'm going to just use the export so you can see uh, you can use the name and also you can uh, copy the export and uh, now we can just say uh, driver dot find element by export and let me paste it in here let me change this okay now after this now we are going to just say print uh, search box dot is displayed and now if I run this I should receive true for this because uh, it's displayed and now let me just run this okay now First, we need to just wait for the our browser. After that, for the Google.com, 
and after that we will receive uh, so let me just bring it in here now after the loading we will receive the status of this web element so uh, okay now you can see that we are receiving true because it's it is displayed on the web page now you can do print uh, search box dot is enabled and also let me just say print search box dot is selected so for these two we are receiving true but for the last one we are receiving false because we have said that it's you can use is selected with the checkbox or radio buttons so because it's a search box and it's a input field by this reason we are receiving false for this so now let me just run this again and you will see the result so let me just close these two and now I'm going to just run this okay now you can see it's a google.com and let me bring it in here so now the first and second one is true now you can see we have true true but for the last one we have false uh, for the is selected now let's just do this on the checkbox uh, so in here I'm using the this this is a the internet uh, heroku app.com so it's uh, uh, you can use this for selenium uh, testing now in here I'm going to just click on check boxes Uh, you can see that we have uh, two check boxes in, in here so the first one is uh, not not checked and the second one is checked so we are going to just do the example on this so let me just copy the URL and let me just comment this and in here I'm going to just say driver dot get this URL and let me just comment uh, these three And in here, I'm going to just create a, a checkbox. So this is the first checkbox. I can just say driver dot find element by export, and you need to just uh, get the export. So let me just inspect the element. So you can see that this is the first checkbox, and also. Uh, first one and second one let me just uh, uh, copy this or let me just check this okay we're going to just copy the export of these two check boxes we have two so the first one is uh, this will be false and this will be true so now let me just click on this and copy the export and paste it in here also let me just comment the search box because I don't need and I'm going to just create another checkbox so checkbox2 and driver dot find element by export and for this I'm going to just use the second one uh, copy the export and paste it in here so you can see that I have let me just uh, say print a checkbox one dot is selected and print checkbox two dot is selected so now let me just run this and for the first one uh, we are receiving false and for the second one we are receiving true uh, now let me just run this it will first open this uh, URL okay guys now you can see that uh, for the first one we are receiving false because it's not selected 
and for the second one we are receiving true because it's selected so thank you guys uh, i will add the source code in the video description if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos uh, please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video